If you maintain a website, if you run a web server, or if you just use the web, you probably want or you might want to find out a little bit about the sites that you visit and whether or not they're actually secure. And there are some great tools for doing that out there. Um, Chrome and other web browsers will do a pretty reasonable job now of warning you about problems with the setup on various websites. So if you go to a website um, and there's like a little broken icon up where the HTTPS would be, maybe that's Chrome telling you there's something wrong. Um, but there's also this, this great tool, I really like this, it's called the SSL Labs. It's called the Qualys SSL Server Test. Um, so how does this work? You go over here, I'm going to stick a host name in here. Now if you use big sort of uh, pretty well established sites like banking websites, they're probably okay, but you might as well test them anyway. Um, really for me I feel like HTTPS is the way that the web needs to go. Um, everything. It's not just an issue of securing sort of credit card information, but I think it really uh, matters that all of our web traffic is encrypted for privacy reasons and other things. So if you're going to websites that are still using HTTP, you might want to think about whether or not you want to continue to use that site or that service. Um, because it's also really easy to set up HTTPS now. I'll show you that in a sec. So, okay, so let's enter in a host name here. Let's try this uh, sketchy website that I've heard about. Uh, www.internet, oop, three dubs, internetclass.org. Hit submit. Oh, let me uh, clear cache and we'll rerun it again. <laughs> I've ruined the surprise. Okay, so what's going on here? Um, what it's doing is it's running a series of tests against the website and as the tests complete, it starts uh, to update other parts of the page. So you can see that the name of the, the, this key, that the certificate that I'm using was actually issued, it's what's called a wild start card certificate. So actually issued for everything.internet-class.org. So I'm using that for the main website, dub, 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 and also for the discourse site and other things. Um, you can see the, let's see down here. So um, this is this a weak key? No, it was issued by Komodo RSA Domain Validation Secure Server California. I actually paid for the certificate. I feel kind of dumb about that uh, for reasons I'll show you in a sec. Um, and now what it's doing is it's going through and it's essentially testing lots of different ways that it can connect to the site in a secure way. Because one of the problems with HTTPS and other secure protocols is that they have a lot of flexibility in terms of the, they can, in terms of how clients connect. Because certain clients, certain browsers, certain types of device don't support certain security protocols. But in some cases, some of the security protocols that they do support are very weak. So as we've evolved in the computer security area, we've come to realize that certain protocols that we used in the early days of the web have pretty um, easy exploits, or computers have just gotten powerful enough that they're able to take advantage of, of weaknesses in, in some of these early protocols. So we try to make sure that they're not being used. Okay, so we're almost done. Um, I don't know if you noticed there, but it did say at some point testing heart bleed, so it tests for this really important vulnerability. And here's my score, A+. Plus. Okay, great. So it says the certificate's very strong, protocol key exchange and cipher strength, I'm down kind of here in the 90 range. And if you scroll down, it'll, it'll give you some information about what's going on um, and, and what the problems are. So in this case, uh, you can see that Internet Explorer 6 is not going to be able uh, to use this site. I'm okay with that. Um, if you're still running XP, let's talk. Um, down here, let's keep scrolling. Uh, you can also see, here's another issue, Java 6. So Java 6 has this problem where it doesn't support really strong parameters uh, for symmetric key encryption. So that's another, so you know, there's, you make these trade-offs when you build sites like this of what you're gonna support and what you're not gonna support. And the cipher suites that I've chosen to use are ones that were recommended as a good mix of things that are strong enough to get good scores on tests like this and to be secure but also uh, broad enough to support lots of different types of browsers. So you can see, and essentially what it's doing is it's testing on behalf of lots of different browsers. So okay, is it gonna work on Safari 9? Is it gonna work on Safari 6.04? You know, what about new versions of Chrome and Android and stuff like that? So, um, you know, does, can I access this site securely from a variety of different devices? Um, and then there's a, a bunch more information on, on uh, the bottom about the details of this, not all of which I fully understand. But if you're going to websites or if you're building your own, this is a good way to test to make sure that the HTTPS implementation is strong. 
One thing I want to point out, because I think it's pretty awesome, is that recently a group of um, companies got together and have started a initiative to provide free uh, HTTPS secure, uh, certificates. So in the past, if you wanted a certificate, you had to pay some money, and it was kind of a pain, and now free. So it's free, it's automated, um, anybody can go and get one of these. So if you run your own web server and you want to make it secure, you want a certificate, rather than having to pay the you know 50 bucks or whatever it was before, you can go on Let's Encrypt. Um, dot org and you can get a certificate for free and I really really like this initiative I think it's a great way to make the web more secure and more private so if you run a web server check this out uh, set up HTTPS and and really I think you, you know uh, you should really get people to use it my sites redirect people to HTTPS if they don't connect that way themselves so ways to find out if your sites are secure online